It's a fabulous a Peter, each one of them. More than a dozen community members gathered today to remember the Lillylid family, victims of a horrible crime in Greene County on this day 25 years ago. Vidar and Delfina Lillylid, along with their children, six-year-old Tabitha and two-year-old Peter, were traveling from Johnson City back home to Knoxville. They'd been to a Jehovah's Witness convention in Johnson City in 1997. Well, while they were at a rest area on Interstate 81, a group of teenagers carjacked the family. Police say the Lily Lids and their daughter were found shot to death on a road in Baileyton. Their two-year-old son, Peter, who you could see being held by his father there, he was critically wounded by gunfire but survived. Ashley Sharp today spoke with an EMS worker who was called to the scene that day. 25 years, but it almost feels like yesterday for those involved in this case since the very beginning. The Lily Lids still on their minds all these years later. The Lily Lids traveling home to Knoxville and the six young people from Kentucky who took their lives crossed paths at a rest stop in Baileyton on Interstate 81. It could have been anywhere. It just happened to be here. The six would kidnap the family of four, stealing their van and shooting them, leaving them to die on Payne Hollow Road. Yeah, it, it stuck with me all these years. It has. It's got easier to deal with through the years. Tim Floyd, a more than 30 year veteran of Greene County EMS. He was one of the first paramedics on the scene in 1997. You know, pretty much immediately we could tell the mom and dad were already, you know, deceased, uh, but the little girl, little boy, Peter, and they were, they were still alive. He was. He was actually kind of whimpering a little bit, you know, not really crying, but whimpering. He rushed young Peter and Tabitha to the hospital in his ambulance. Only Peter would survive. It didn't really hit me hard until the day they caught him and seen that on the news that night at 11 o'clock. Barkley Bell was the lead prosecutor on the case. He secured life in prison without parole for all six young people involved in the murders. They certainly have been adequately punished for what they did. And the fact that they, nobody can agree on who pulled the trigger and what everybody's participation in the entire event was, uh, I think it's appropriate that they all are serving the same amount of time. Reflecting, he always comes back to Peter Lillylid. He met the toddler in the hospital shortly after the crime, an encounter he will never forget. And he just put his arms out for me to take him and hold him which was a very emotional minute for me, or moment, really. And I, I would have to say that that had a great deal of motivation for me. Bell says evidence shows a satanic motivation for the killings, and the bullets were fired in a pentagram formation. We believe, and I still believe, that it was satanic, some kind of initiation uh, event or ritual, something to band that group together. Looking back, both Bell and Cloyd say they've never again seen anything as horrific in their careers. Yeah, that was definitely the worst. <laughs> and to this day, I mean, after even after 30 years, it's it's the worst. For Bell, the darkness of the crimes and the criminals haunts him still. No remorse. They have yet to really express any genuine remorse unless it's in the context of blaming someone else. The Lily Lids have never been forgotten by this community even 25 years later. In Greene County, Ashley Sharp, News Channel 11.